What insult that deeply hurt you want you forget? You're worthless my dad this is why I rarely ever speak to him. When I was a kid I reached the point to where my mom wasn't quick enough to hit me anymore. I was faster I suppose. She didn't believe something I was telling her. And I can't remember what it was. She called me a liar and spit right in my face and said liars are the scum of the earth. All the previous beatings vanished from my mind. I have never nor will I ever forget her doing and saying that. Teacher called me dumb when I asked about a concept third time. My brother's girlfriend said to me you would look nice if you took care of yourself. I was in the middle of a divorce, working night shift at AMZ warehouse, and trying to hold it together for my kids. Grade 2, I was told to mouth the words in the choir instead of sing by the music teacher. I still have a complex about singing to the day 30 years later. Screw you MS. Green. Years ago. When I had just started college, some friends and I were sitting in the cafeteria, and one of my new friend's definition of a spoiled rich kid saw someone getting food, and started ranting about how much of a loser this person was. He said things like, he never dresses nice, always wears hand-me-downs, couldn't stop his broke-ass parents from splitting and how neither wanted him. Just horrible things about this person and none of it was within this person's control. They had just had a lot of bad things happen in their life. So my old friend, Mark, looks him dead in the face and says, so he's gone through all that and here he is at the same college as you. At least we know who the real loser is. Then we got up and left. Mark, you're a fucking champion. Crack baby grew up in crack houses, homeless shelters, foster care, eventually adopted at 14. They knew these things when they said it. My grandmother telling me I was useless and that no one likes me. I wasn't too choked up when she passed. Not a simple insult I suppose. But I was in court as an 18 year old and an investigator told me I'd never succeed in life. That I'd spend my life in and out of jail. That cut me to my core, and I even believed what she said for a while, especially since both of my brothers were already in prison but I ended up using that as motivation to improve my life. You'll never forget those words. Been sober since that arrest, and have never had any trouble with the law since then. A couple come to mind. When I was pregnant, at my baby shower my sister said, Wow you got fat. FFS, I only gained 25 pounds through my whole pregnancy, I was already depressed, and was doing what I could to manage the weight gain. At about 17 years old, I said to my mom and stepdad that I wanted to go to university in science. My stepdad said that I would waste my time cause anything logical, is not meant for girls, and my mom agreed and said I'd amount to nothing and I should just go work at the bar with her. They proceeded to charge me for living there until I decided to go live on my own. I finished my studies now and I have my dream job. No thanks to them. I mentioned that if I ever got the chance to perform stand-up again I had some new bits I wanted to try out. My wife, you're never gonna be on stage again. Had a drama professor savage my admittedly poor attempt at a one-act play in front of the entire class. Then he wrote a long handwritten letter about how awful the play was and how I should have gotten it out of my system and could now find another major. He then ended with some advice, a list of self-published books he produced that I could purchase if I wanted to stay in the class. I still have that letter somewhere, 25 years later. My sister told me no one would ever want to marry me. This was over 10 years ago, and it still stings. My father told me I'm a bitch who deserves to be miserable in life. It was the final blow in 25 years of terrible things he said to me. All things he conveniently forgets and rolls his eyes whenever I bring it up and claims never happened. We barely talk now. Hell send memes on Facebook and complain to my mom that I never call. I call weekly just when he's at work. I was going out with this girl for a couple months, nothing serious. Could feel it wrapping up and we weren't on the same page anymore, but I still wanted to hang out. One week she ghosts me entirely and then finally messages me after 6 or 7 days. When I asked where she had been she said it's not my job to entertain you. For a guy whose biggest insecurity is that I'm a burden to my friends, that shit hit deep. Was talking to my then wife now ex about how excited I was about something I bought one of my hobbies. She interrupted me and said you're pretty, but sometimes I wish you'd SDF you. My now ease obviously now, said to me. Your father would never have been proud of you my dad passed when I was a teenager. I was 34 when she said that to me. She knew how to hurt me, and she had nuclear lunch codes and used them. I walked out of the house and never seen her again three years together. She called apologizing, but I never seen her again. Spoke on the phone, but never physically seen her again. My voice is really deep and I usually get some great compliments, like people saying I sound like Keith David or, somehow, Christopher Judge and how I need to do voice acting. So I have never strayed away from talking to people knowing they enjoy it. But this one day I was at the bank, 
I think depositing a check or something, and the woman I was talking to behind the desk told me I have the voice of a kidnapper. She then deepens her voice and says I got your kids. I'm sure it was meant as a compliment, but it really hurt. Made me really self-conscious for a while. Phil called a family meeting. Wife and I drove over. I ended up having to sit in the car because he wanted family only despite having been with my wife for nearly 20 years. You'll never forget that I'm not family to him. We can't trust you because you are adopted.